I thought I'd actually get back to um, eight purchasing some games and actually start to play some games. I've been sort of um, hell bent on um, on looking at scanline stuff, scalers and all that shiz uh, recently. Um, I've spent most of this actual week uh, doing some work on the on the Cinematech uh, scaler that I've discussed on a previous uh, video. I had to make up a specialised specialised a special lead for it to enable it to work correctly with my SLG 3000 and a right palaver doing that and managed to sort it out in the end I'm really happy with the results uh, really good so um, I'm going to put my scalers away now because I'll go back to uh, using my consoles and such like on, on the CRTs that I've got um, now last week Friday I actually uh, bought two new games. Uh, one game has been out for, I don't know, just over two months, two, three months, uh, perhaps. And one game actually came out on Friday. Uh, the game that I picked up that has been out for a couple of months now, excuse me, is Need for Speed, Hot, Hot Pursuit, for the Xbox 360. Um, I do love all racing games. Certainly, the ones where you don't need any intelligence really to play them. So, that, you know, a bit of a sort of mindless, mindless thrash of a car. Um, uh, this game has been out. It came out just before Christmas, and it was being sold at a fairly highly subsidised rate. It was about twenty-five pounds. I think twenty-five pounds are cheap as you get it. And then as soon as uh, Christmas went, um, uh, everywhere stopped the oh, uh, everywhere stopped the prices back up. And when I was out on Friday getting the other game that I bought, uh, I saw this in Argos. It was twenty five pound again, so I thought, right, I'm going to buy it. Uh, I missed it the first time now. Uh, I played the demo of this game, and and it seems really, really good. It got really good reviews. Uh, quite a manic. Uh, sort of driving type game. There we go there. So I paid £25 for this brand new uh, from Argos. So I will look forward to giving that a bit of a bash. Uh, hopefully, sometime this week I'll get some gameplay video of that. Uh, the real purchase uh, that was done on Friday uh, was concerning a new beta book that was released on the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 and it was Marvel vs Capcom 3 um, I've been really gacking for this to come out it was it was um, well details of the release of it were given sometime sort of mid uh, last year I haven't seen many of the uh, um, of the various demo videos that have been made available of this all really looked at certain screenshots, all read much about it in reality, but it had to be a game I had to get. I love the Marvel vs Capcom series, uh, the first one and the second one, absolutely stunning beat em up games. And this is actually, uh, supposed to be, so I believe, in the same vein uh, graphically as the recent Street Fighter releases. So it's actually a 2D fighting game, but the characters are 3D and the backgrounds are, are sort of, um, are in a 3D style format. But, now the reason why this is on uh, the PlayStation 3, sorry, why I bought the PlayStation 3 version as opposed to the Xbox version, is because I've got PlayStation 3 in uh, one of my arcade cabinets, in the high depth cabinet, which is the Sega uh, Lindbergh. So I'll hook this up to that at some point. I've looked at, I think I've looked at one video since it came out on Friday, and it does look absolutely stunning, it really does. Quick look at the manual. Quite disappointed when they make these manuals, and they're all in black and white, you thought they'd have done in colour, but... 
fair old whack of uh, information in there. I think there's something like 30, up to 32 fighters, different uh, characters, and I'm not, I think from what I've read, let's have a look, one, two, three, four, four on a sheet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, yeah, seven, eight, that's right, yeah, yeah, 32 characters. Uh, I'm not sure whether they are all selectable from the off. I heard some rumour that, that some of the characters you can pay for on downloadable content to unlock them. Uh, but since I haven't played it, I don't know. But it it really does look an absolute stunning game. So I'm really looking forward to playing that. So yeah, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. So that's uh, two new uh, uh, games I bought. One is obviously a brand new uh, release, and one is not so brand new release. So I'll try and um, I'll try and get some gameplay time on those uh, this week, and get some gameplay videos up. I've got a new game coming uh, this Friday that I'm really looking forward to, which is on the Xbox 360. It's pre-order from Japan, and it's another cave shooter uh, that's been released, and it's muchy muchy pork and uh, Pink Sweets. It's two separate games on one disc. Both games I've never really played, haven't got the PCB versions, uh, but they're supposed to be absolutely brilliant games, they really are, so I'm really, really, really looking forward to that on Friday, so I will undoubtedly get another uh, video up, uh, unpacking video of that game on Friday or Saturday, with some gameplay that will follow that, so, so that'll be good. So yeah, it was just a quick video really to show you some of my recent purchases.